Fantastic. Oh, yeah. This is going to be like crazy walk up. It's only the 20th. But it is the 20th anniversary of sorts of the boat, cardboard boat we're going. Yeah, so, uh, so we're bringing the boats around. We're getting all of our uh, boat captains in place. We've got the cheering section, the cheering section. We've got the, uh, the fire brigade up here on the high board. They're going to make sure no boats catch fire. All right, well, uh, the rules for this year's race uh, are so. Two or three boats are going to race at one time. Each lane will have an official timer. The boats will navigate their ways through three buoys. We have to slalom through the buoys to the uh, shallow end, switch captains, and race back toward here to the deep end. The best overall times will compete in the championship heat, championship heat uh, for the uh, winning title tonight. Uh, now, keep in mind, just because a boat wins its individual heat does not guarantee you a spot in the championship. So, even if you feel like you're not doing that well, keep on going, because uh, you might just uh, outpace or last longer than the other boats in there. So, keep going. After the championship heat, we'll award the prizes for design, ingenuity, the Titanic Award, and of course, first place for tonight's event. Okay, the official course. Anybody with a with an oar or flippers or whatever you're going to use, right, left, right, left. Okay, and when you get to the end, you're going to switch drivers right there, and then straight back. But you must go around the pylon, serpentine like that. You see that? Yeah, yeah, like a like a sea serpent. <laughs> back and forth. So it sounds like we have everything in order for our first heat race of the year. Maybe of the two years. Uh, hey, you know, it's, it's, it feels like it's been about two years since we've been here. Okay, so our first heat. Let's hear it for the games department. And we got newcomers pizza. Oh. That was hot. <laughs> and the old mill. Old mill. Old mill was going to be sailing peanut. So it looks like we have at least one lifeguard on duty. So save pizzas right there. Make sure you save them. They have work tomorrow. <laughs> Second boat captain's down here in the waiting. Boat captains for Gabe's Pizza and Old Bill in the ready. The water. This is the first test. Get a boat in the water. Get yourself in it. Will it float? Already the contest is on. Will it sink? Will it float? You know the Titanic award is to the to the boat that goes to the bottom fastest. Balance, poise, grace, all of these things are at uh, at the test right now. Pizza boat's looking pretty stable. Pizza's looking stable. I think the wedge-shaped boat was pizza slice inspired. Hey, better hurry. She's taking on water, Captain. We're taking on water. Timers, are you ready with your timers? Do it. We're going to give you a three count. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Go. All right. <laughs> Cheering six and cheer on with all of them. Oh, we're going down. One boat, one boat down. All right, well, we got pizza and peanuts. Working our way. Now 
Well, the original name, Drew, I heard, was a unanimous, uh, they just decided on both. Um, but uh, hey, we have since changed that to Pizza Well, this is a fantastic turnout. We gotta give everybody a big one. This is this is the great. Okay, this is the first test we're about to complete. We've got seaworthy craft. Looks like we have adequate buoyancy. Okay, Tyler's, are you ready? We'll give you a three count. Here it comes. Three, two, one, row! And they're off. We have the buzzer beater, the fascinator, and Big Daddy. Looks like the buzzer beaters working its way through there. Some really great contention here. Everybody just passing the first buoy.
We're moments away from a decision. And it looks coming in close. Oh, and we have touchdown. Here it is, coming in from the judges. Uh, in first place, we have the pool with buzzer beater at one minute, 58 seconds. <laughs> We're told they have an aquatics background, so maybe some specialty research there. Coming in second, we have the Fascinator from Fascination at two minutes, 40 seconds. And in third, the Big Daddy from the Alamo at 2 minutes, 52 seconds. Good job by all of them, all three boats making it back. Excellent job. All right. Fully, fully inflated down there, uh, buzzer feeder. <laughs> we... There's the water out of the motor right now. Oh, okay, okay, good. Yeah. Just changing batteries. Looks like we get a thumbs up all the way across here. We're ready for our final race. All right, everybody, ready? let's let's count them down. Everybody help me, ready? Three, two, one, go! All right, guys, this is it. This is the championship. We have the Fascinator in lane A here doing pretty well. Peanut coming up close, but the pool has passed their first three. Why don't you cheer them on? They need your help. Peanut's talking a little bit about that first pool here. I do like Peanut. So do we have representatives from the uh, last year's or last, I don't know, five years trophy presenters? I don't think we have anybody from the, anybody here from the gift shops, no? Guest photography, I don't think there's, I don't think that's a thing anymore. So, 
So the first uh, first couple of awards we have here, of course, uh, before the boats even get into the water, we have both the uh, uh, the overall. Let's see, what am I looking at here? Where's the ingenuity award? Oh, yeah, we we forgot the pool. Yeah. I don't know oh, that comes up at the bottom. All right. Hang tight. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm uh, sort of asleep at the wheel. Or the tiller, I guess. That's a nautically theme. Jesse, use a teleprompter. Stop being the. Uh, <laughs> Teleprompter, telenurse. So we've, we've got some awards that are, are beyond just who made it here the fastest. You know, we have what we call the Titanic Award for that one that's sunk the fastest. And, uh, you know, we're just getting all this sorted out. We've got to get the names. We've got to get everything right. We got it. We got, we got it. it. All right. So this year... Our Titanic Award for the boat that sunk the fastest is going to the games department and the Black Pearl. <laughs> and the Ingenuity Award. Ingenuity. That one's going to Fascination for the Fascinator. We also have an award for the best design. Best design award? Who's going to win that award? Drew, tonight that award is going to Games and Night Fury. <laughs> and last but not least, we have the Speed Award for the boat that made it through all their heats made it through the championship heat, and made it back to the start the fastest. And tonight, uh, with a time of 1 minute 35 seconds in the championship heat, that award goes to the buzzer beater and the poodle. Congratulations. Word from the boss. Hi folks, this is Dick. I just want to say this is a great event. And I want to applaud all those people who put an effort into filling the boat. Whether floated or not. So, this is a great event. So, uh, so, my thanks to the staff. We got everybody have a great night. What are we saying? How does it feel to win first place yet again? Just amazing. So great on the road. We ate. That's all I got to say is we ate. Yeah. One minute, 35 seconds. Go us! Nothing better. Dubs only at the pool. And special shout out to me for building it. Yeah. Yep. What does winning the Ingenuity Award for the Boat Regatta mean to you? It just shows our hard work and determination to just go out there and do our best. We tried our hardest. That's yeah. all I can say. Yeah. Blood, sweat, and tears. Is that the one you originally set out to get, or did, were you hoping for? We honestly for... did better than we thought. We, we, we thought we were going to sing the first yeah. time we got in the boat. Yeah. We're just proud that we have we're this very right happy now. With our performance. 